I'm just realizing I posted that story on my running Instagram and it makes no sense. <laughs> so are you going to make me do that again? Uh, I might have no! to, uh, oh! but let's see, let's see if it auto saved and I can oh, just, no. Oh, then they won't be able to uh, click the tag because it's just going to be, no, I lost it. Okay. Yeah. Steven say something else. Very interesting. Oh, Go. This is so miserable. So, Hey, <laughs> you heard about bees. You're something else. Something else. Yep. Um, you heard about trees? Yeah, I've heard about them. Yeah. Why, you know what they do? Yeah, they make oxygen. For us to breathe. Yeah. Yeah. We're in the middle of an episode of a podcast right now. <laughs> okay, but how do they breathe? What do they breathe in? Oh, carbon dioxide. Wow, science, boy. Yeah, dude. Science is cool. everyone, welcome back to Rally Caps. It's a podcast, it's a show, and it's something that we're redefining in 2023. I'm Steven. And I'm Eric. And he was in the middle of drinking coffee. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're bringing Rally Caps back for the maybe third time. Yeah. Yeah. But on a properly consistent basis. Yeah. That, how are we doing hope. that? Because we're doing it, um, how we're doing it is we got a new studio. New studio. Yeah. You may have seen our videos about it. Yeah. If, well, I mean, if you follow us on a personal basis on our YouTube channels, both Steven and I, you saw that we announced that we got a brand new studio. We have been working out of Creative Club Chicago for, I have been for like five years. You yeah. have been for about a year and a half. Yeah. Um, and that it, that exists one floor below the space we're currently in right now, but we got this unit. So if you're hearing a little bit of echo, that might be uh, the reason why we're in a a blanket for it, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're seeing this on YouTube right now, which hey, we're back on YouTube. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, yeah, we're literally in like a middle school blanket fort because the new studio that we're in isn't totally furnished yet, and it's more or less a 900 square foot concrete box, which uh, sucks for audio. Yeah, so we're doing yeah. our best right now, and you're going to see the progression of this set as we continue to build it out. Yeah, it's really exciting. What's the second look like, Stephen? Dude, I'm so pumped for it. So we've decided on a, like loosely right now that we're gonna build walls and a ceiling of some sort to really help capture audio here and make it a little more acoustically sound. Um, and then the set itself is gonna look kind of like a living room, like you're seeing right now. We got a little lamp in the corner, got the Rally Caps banner back there. Gonna add a couple maybe coffee tables, a couch, armchairs, things that just make it feel like a lived-in environment. So can I tell them my ceiling idea? Yeah, you can. Okay. Thought about this over the weekend, two walls on the side, but the top is a 12 by 12 scrim that we just blast light through. So it's just like a big, massive sunroof. I think S it would look so cool. Skylight. Skylight. Diffused, misty skylight. Beautiful light. Hope so. Easy to light. Yeah. Just rest it on top of the two walls, mm -hmm. blast some light through it. Mm -hmm. Would be cool. It would be very cool. Um, shout out to Steven for m making that design of the rally caps logo. If you're seeing it on YouTube right now and going to the effort to making a banner too. Yeah. Pretty fun. Thank you. Yeah. This is fun. That banner is from Oxford pennant. Shout out Buffalo, New York, love New York upstate. Uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully be seeing that logo on a lot more things, things that you could purchase oh. this year. Um, Ooh. TBD. Okay. But that's actually happening this year. I know we've teased that a lot, but samples are in and we're going to start moving that shortly. So yeah. stay tuned. This, uh, the show this year is going to be primarily hosted by Steven and I. Mm -hmm. It's what it has been in the past, but we are going to move to a different model that is more sustainable for us. We kind of relied on guests being the focus of the podcast for the first year and a half, two years that we've been doing it and really trying to get heavy hitting guests, people with big online presence is in like, yeah, just have a lot of clout. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you, I think that that was super, super cool to meet those people and like have relationships with them now. Mm -hmm. Um, and even just to get this podcast off the ground and get a lot of people listening to it cause they follow a lot of those people, but we have just been doing a lot of really fun and exciting things ourselves. So we want it to primarily be focused on just us kind of hosting and, uh, being sort of a live journal of the things we're working on mm -hmm. throughout the year and indefinitely. Um, but, but we're also going at the same time on three. Yeah. One, two, two three. Gene. Inviting our friend Gene. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a full sentence. Sorry. 
It would have been more chaotic. It would have been. It was still chaotic. <laughs> yeah, it was still yeah. chaotic. It was nice. But Gene, who I'm sure you are probably familiar with to some degree, if you follow us in any capacity, Gene is going to be joining us kind of as a correspondent on the show, um, maybe one to two times a month, depending on what that month looks like. He'll be hopping on and joining us as the third member of the show, which is going to be really fun because the three of us in particular have been doing a lot of work very closely for the past year. And it's the three of us that really kickstarted this studio and this set that we're in right now, too. Mm. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be really fun to have Gene on and to have some more perspectives as well, especially considering that we won't have c like consistent guests. Um, but I think, like you said, that model is a lot more sustainable because more often than not, the reason we weren't able to keep things consistent is because everyone's schedules get busy. Mm. We started during the middle of the pandemic when people had plenty of time on our hands. So we were like, every single week, awesome guest, fantastic, this is great. And then things kind of got back to normal and then people couldn't really accept, you know, remote podcasts. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I can do it in a month or two months and that can really, um, really kill momentum after a while. Yeah. So uh, it's nice that we have more control over when episodes go out now because it's as simple as just popping up to the space, the set, recording an episode and then pushing it out, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Does that mean we're not going to have any guests anymore, Stephen? Absolutely not. We literally have some of the biggest guests that will ever be on the show coming up this year, which is super exciting also. Yeah, yeah that's amazing. I think it'd be really cool to that be kind of more infrequent with that um, and be more of a surprise when it does happen. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as we continue to get more and more connected into the creative business world, um, I think that's just going to keep happening more and more. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we might stack... We might stack some of those episodes and just kind of slowly release them while we create a consistent sort of weekly upload schedule, bi-weekly upload schedule. Yep. Um, yeah, so that's that. But there's another reason that we're able to maintain more consistency going forward. Yeah. What's that? Uh, Chad. Yeah. Chad's <laughs> super cool. He's going to be editing Rally Caps yeah. going forward, which is incredible. We've Wait, never had that before. Chad, are you in here right now? Chad. He left. Oh, he left. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Oh, he is here. <laughs> Wait, there he is. <laughs> Wait, come in and say hi. Yeah. Here, come, come, we can't see anything because we're in a blanket the, fort. Come through the back of the blanket fort. There say he hi. is. <laughs> if you're on YouTube, there's Chad right there. Yeah, he's he's helping out. He's editing. Um, so shout out to Chad yeah. uh, for yeah making this thing a sustainable thing for us moving mm -hmm. forward. And that's yeah. kind of been the resounding thing for all of us the past year is just helping each other. I hired a full-time editor, Shua, shout out Shua. And um, yeah, just people kind of coming alongside and wanting to help. I mean, we're not going to get into the specifics of all the things we worked on this past year, but you know, like we collaborated on a documentary, we had lots of hands for help for that. Mm -hmm. So that's been an ongoing theme. And I think it's going to continue to be an ongoing theme as we sort of keep spreading our brands outward and um, keep growing those yep. columns. Yeah. Ver th those verticals. Those wow. Yeah, we've been talking about Levi a lot. Startup, <laughs> very startup <laughs> jargon of me. Yeah, I think the mentality that we're really embracing right now is that a rising tide raises all ships, and we're really trying to get as many people on board as we can to help each other out, move the needle forward for everyone, and in that, everybody wins, and it's really exciting to do that alongside your best friends. So that is the mentality that we have for 2023 and beyond, uh, and it's what we're going to be embodying in Rally Caps as well. Yeah. So nice. Yeah, if you, you want to watch on YouTube, that'll be cool. Um, but we'll obviously all still be on all the other platforms, Apple Podcasts and Spotify and Napster. Definitely Napster. Yeah. yeah. So, I wouldn't see why not. Yeah. Um, okay. That was all kind of the housekeeping items Yep. for this episode. Yeah. What are we going to talk about this year, Stephen? Well, we did kind of cover it a little bit a already. A little. A tiny bit. But a lot of the things that will be, I think, consistent topics for the show this year will be the expansion of the studio, dissection of some of the projects that we did last year, and some of the upcoming projects that we have this year, including a film that Eric and I will be potentially DPing together. Super cool. Uh, the post-process of the documentary. And if post-process didn't give me any plosives in this mic, we'll know we're doing really well. But <laughs> editing the entire thing over the course of the next six to eight months. Steven, what's that documentary about? Oh, wow. <laughs> do they not know, do you think? I don't know. Yeah, they might not. It's about <laughs> a photographer and a runner named Joe Greer. And uh, it is 
probably one of the, it's definitely the biggest project any of us have worked on. Yes. It's going to be a feature length documentary mm -hmm. and it is one of the most maybe emotional projects I think we've all worked on hundred percent as well. Um, Unequivocally. Yeah. I think the log line of it is that Joe attempted to run a sub two hour and 40 minute marathon at the California International Marathon in December of 2022. He wanted to beat that time. And so we followed him from March of 2022 to December to document the training and everything in his personal life to the best of our ability to really show him as he pursued that really incredible athletic feat. Along the way, we unpacked a lot more that went far deeper than running. Um, and the story evolved very quickly to become a lot more than just about the process of training um, and more about what running means to him on a philosophical level, um, how the intersection of art and athleticism really cross over in his life, um, and also a lot of um, family. Ther therapeutic ways to get over mm -hmm. family trauma mm -hmm. is going to be a, an enormous theme, Yeah, if not the biggest theme yep. in it. Yeah. So be on the lookout for all that coming up. We hope and plan to have that edited by summertime of 2023 and start premiering it then. And then we just have no idea what the process is going to look like if that film gets bought or if we're going to self-release. So we're going to be navigating all those things. And this, again, is going to kind of be a diary as we process all of those things and approach trying to get the thing sold. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned. Yeah, there's going to be a lot. And I think Eric said it really well. Like this is going to be a diary of the things that we're doing. We share a lot of stuff on a personal level and on a collaborative level between all of our YouTube channels and Instagram accounts and Twitter, everything. Like we're always putting out a lot of stuff, but this is the place that I think the longest form and in a lot of ways, the most personal stuff will come out because making a seven minute YouTube video yeah. that catches people's attention or teaches us something or, you know, evokes an emotional response is very different from an hour long conversation, really unpacking the stories and the processes behind a lot of the things that we're doing. Um, one that I'm really excited to dissect with Gene here is talking about the Leica commercial that mm -hmm. we created, because I feel like there's so many stories and so many little tidbits and nuggets of wisdom and filmmaking techniques that we used in that project that we haven't talked about anywhere. Mm -hmm. It'd yeah. be really cool to have this as a long form way to do that. Yeah, not even just um, the creative things that we're doing, but I think some of the business approaches as well, um, which is a nice little segue into the idea we've just kind of came up with after shooting the Leica thing. The three of us worked on that project together and have been helping each other. Uh, real quick, Chad, could you cut the heat? I think the heat's on right now mm -hmm. and making it annoying. The thermostat's just right over on the other side of the column. Yep. You just hit off. Friggin' heat, man. Do we just roll through this and that's part of the episode or are we cutting all this out? Wait, is that already off? Yeah. Nice. Wow. Jeez. Instantaneous Chad. heat turn off. Let's go. I say we include it now because Chad's the goat. Nice. Yeah, so uh, we decided, you know, we'd been helping each other out on our YouTube channels with sponsored content, with um, production on different videos we wanted to make on our own personal channels. And we're like, it makes a lot of sense for us to just join forces in all the commercial work opportunities we get. So we're hoping to make that a formal business this year. And so we'll be kind of processing all of that on this podcast as well. Different projects will be working on that. Um, and how we're organizing that business, mm -hmm. how we're shooting spec ads and just strategic mindset as we grow that thing. So you're going to kind of see a business start from the ground up and see maybe after a year, how successful that endeavor is. If it, if it happens, yeah. you know, like if it makes it off the ground and starts being a viable thing. So, yeah. And this is probably the place that you'll hear about those successes and failures first, and also hear about the exact steps that we're taking to create those things. If you're interested in doing something like it with your friends and wherever it is that you live and you want to get insight on how we're doing it, I think that'll be a really interesting behind the scenes to hear about because we're doing it for the first time. So we're gonna make mistakes and maybe we could help you avoid some of those mistakes. Yeah, um, yeah I think it, we just want this to feel like a conversation more than anything. Yeah, and uh, it is my goal, resolution, if you will, Whoa. this year to have more banter on this podcast. Okay. All right. Okay. And it, immediately when I say things like this, it just like makes Steven's skin crawl. Well, I, I don't know what you mean when you say banter. Exactly. Oh, I see. 
He just doesn't know what's coming. Yeah. We already had to cut out the first eight minutes of trying this episode. Yeah. Because it got too unhinged. Well, that's because you started making Instagram stories <laughs> in the middle of the episode. <laughs> and you started asking me questions that were completely irrelevant to this what, show. What if I do it again right now? I swear. <laughs> I won't do it to you again. It's okay. <laughs> It could be kind of fun to post this on the Rally Caps Instagram story, though. Oh, yeah. That could be cool. Yeah. Uh, my phone's charging. Are you logged into the Rally Caps Instagram? Uh, yeah. Sick. Wait, am I making am I making a story on the on the podcast yeah, now? But, but both of us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Don't interview me with questions about bees and trees and stuff. You brought up the bees and trees. You said say something wise. You, you, ta- you started talking about the birds and bees, not me. Hey, hey. <laughs> you know I didn't talk about the birds and the bees. <laughs> you talked about half of that. You, I did talk about... <laughs> Which one did I talk? The bees. The bees. I talked about the bees. Yeah. The bees knees. No, it I'm was not about. the bees knees, actually. No, it was not. Hey, could you stop hitting your microphone? I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. I don't, what are we saying here? Hey. Wait. We're recording our first episode of... Uh, Wait, I haven't started recording yet. Oh, okay. You want to get closer to me? Uh, my, my microphone's right here. Well, otherwise I have to... That's I, fine. I, okay, then I'll just go like this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Hello. Wow. Hey, Instagram. Hey, we're back. Hey, look at this. Hey. We're in a blanket fort. Look at us. What Who'd else does Paul Rudd say? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> First episode of 2023 is actually happening. It's amazing. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. More moments like that. Is that fair? Yeah. Okay. If, if people are willing to listen to it. I mean, how, uh, how unhinged can we get? Probably not too unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we, we have an editor now. Uh, that's true. So uh, we could make his life pretty difficult <laughs> if we really got off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we're really excited. Yeah. It's going to be a very, very fun year. Uh, just having a, a space dedicated to, because we didn't even talk about what else this space is going to be. Yeah. And we're going to unpack that with Gene in a episode we're recording Okay. Later today. Oh wow! I'm gonna leave him on a cliffhanger. I huh? really, I really do. We're okay. gonna, we're gonna do this thing well this year. We're really excited to be back, truly. And we just wanted this first episode to be kind of like setting the scene for what 2023 and beyond will look like for Rally Caps. And we've got a lot of really good stuff in store that we are very excited to share with you. Heck yeah! Yeah. All right, later, skaters. We can't leave it on later, skaters, right? Why not, dude? Well, we're a baseball show. What what baseball thing can we say? Scatter batter. <laughs> <laughs>